Welcome to my off-grid property. My name is Jim and today we're going to be installing this eco-worthy 12 volt deep well submersible pump. I picked this pump up on Amazon. It runs about $140. I'll put a link down in the description below for it. It uh, a little bit about the pump. Uh, it is rated at 230 feet max lift, 3.2 gallons max flow. It runs on 12 volts so I'm hoping to tie it into the existing system on my cabin. And uh, we did a bucket test on this earlier, and I'll put a link down in the description below to that video, and we know it worked. I wanted to at least do a test before we dropped it down into the well. A little bit about the well here behind me. This well is 304 feet deep and has a flow rate of 7 gallons per minute, so it's not a high-flowing well. Um, but hopefully it's really great water. And uh, it has a static water level that's at 88 feet. That's where the water sits, so it's sitting at 88 feet. My plan is to drop this down to 125 feet and see if we can produce some water. If everything goes well, you'll be right there with me the first time we see water come out of this well, which is pretty exciting. Um, a little bit about the application. I'm not expecting 3.2 gallons a minute. Um, I, I wanna use this pump to top off of a tank. We have a tank that supplies our cabin with, uh, with water. And so my hope is that this will produce a little bit of water and it'll run during the day, during the peak hours of sun, so it won't take much from my solar power system. And it'll run on a float switch and just top off that tank every day. So that's what I'm hoping for. We'll go through all the parts, we'll go through the installation process, and we'll test this thing out and see if we can get it to work. Let's get started. For parts, of course we have our pump with its owner's manual. I want to say that the owner's manual was actually pretty surprising. Some of the stuff that I've bought that comes from China and stuff I've bought from EcoWorthy before had a little bit difficult to read owner's manuals, but this one was pretty clear. Even had a little worksheet to fill out to make sure you were within the specs of this pump. The three main things that are coming out of this uh, pump are going to be our water line, our safety cable, and our power cable. And so for the water line, we have our PEX half inch pipe. I have a little bit of half inch vinyl hose. I You could probably put the PEX directly onto the barb fitting if uh, you heat it up a little bit, but I'm a little worried about the stress of moving this pump around and getting it into the well is going to break this plastic barb fitting off. And so I'm going to put a little bit of vinyl on there first just to cushion that a little bit. And then we have our hose clamps to connect all that together. Our safety line is a eighth inch stainless steel cable and all the connections to connect it. And then our wire is going to be, oh, we got this eye bolt here that also goes with the safety line. That's gonna go through our well cap and secure the safety line so we don't drop everything to the bottom of the well. And we got our wire. And then to splice that wire to the well wire, the well pump wire, we have this waterproof uh, splice kit. And I'll put links to all of this down in the description. The total on all this cost me less than $400. And that actually included a new well, well seal that uh, didn't come in time. And so I've retrofitted the well cap that we have to work for, for what we're going to need. This hole right here is going to be for our safety cable. We're going to put the eye bolt right here and secure our safety cable to it. And then we're going to run our half inch pecs up through this hole. Um, I drilled these out using just a quarter inch bit for a pilot hole and then a step bit, a Christmas tree bit, to uh, get it up to the size that we need. Tools that we're going to need for this project are a long measuring tape so we can measure everything out. Something to cut your pecs with. You doesn't, don't need anything near this fancy but I had this and it works quick. We also have our uh, PEX ring applicator tensioner tool. I'm not actually sure what it's called. And then you have a screwdriver, cable cutter. We got wire strippers, a heat gun for our heat shrink on our waterproof connection, battery, and uh, wire connections for the test. We may need some additional miscellaneous tools like uh, wrenches or... Uh, or pliers, but this is the majority of the stuff that you're going to need for this installation. The way I'm planning on doing this today so that you don't have to sit through an hour long installation video is I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, go ahead and do it off camera, and then we'll go back through and show you what I did before we drop it down into the well. 
So what I'm planning to do is we have this long area that I can lay everything out on. We're going to run our tape out to 125 feet, run our pecs and our safety cable and our wiring. I'm going to leave the wiring and the pecs long, um, but put our cable right at the 125 feet. Uh, we should all the stress of this whole system should be sitting on that cable and not on the not on the lines or the on the water line or the electrical. So we'll get that all laid out and we'll go from there. Okay, we've got everything laid out, folks. So uh, what we have here on the ground next to the measuring tape is our half-inch PEX pipe, our eighth-inch safety cable, and our electrical cable. I didn't mention it earlier, but that electrical cable is 12-2 uh, marine-grade wire for water applications. And uh, when you're looking it up, it's 12 AWG is what you're looking for. Um, that's what we got there. So that's everything's laid out. We're now going to go ahead and make all the connections to the pump. Before I wrap everything in black tape, I'll go ahead and show you the connections on the pump. We got our safety cables, our nylon hose, and then over here's our electrical connection. You can actually see the glue coming out of the end of those. It's pretty cool stuff. There was enough in that pack to do this twice. Um, I didn't have to, but uh, on that step, make sure you put the heat shrink on before you make your connections. Save yourself some headache. And then we got our connections from the vinyl hose to the pecs. Okay, we got it all prepped and ready. Everything's wrapped and put together. Let me go ahead and show you what I did before we drop this in the hole. So I've double checked all my connections at the pump, made sure everything was tight. I wrapped all the uh, cable connections so nothing rubs on the, uh, the water hose and causes anything to leak down the road. And then I went ahead and bundled everything together and reinforced especially above and below any connections especially my wire connections. And the manual says every six feet, but I went ahead and did it every two to three of this first half. And then down towards the other end down there, I did it uh, every probably four feet. And we bundled everything together. And this thing's ready to go in the, in the hole. I'm gonna take you down to the other end, show you what we did with the well cap. At the well cap, we put the eye bolt through and secured our safety cable to the eye bolt. And then I ran the uh, half inch pecs through. You can see I left it very long. I went ahead and capped the end so that as I drag it through the dirt, I'm not gonna fill it full of dirt. Uh, but I didn't wanna cut it off short because I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other end yet. And then I left the uh, electrical cable long as well. We're ready to drop this thing down into the well. You can see behind me, I set up a ladder hoping that that'll get me a good angle as I drop this thing uh, down into there. I also have a bucket of a little bit of bleach and water um, I'm going to disinfect this as I go, especially that first half, but I think I'm going to do, do it to the whole thing because we've been setting this all up in the dirt. I don't want to fill my well full of dirt and contaminants. Uh, if this works, we'll still well shock it um, to make sure everything's good and clean. Um, but for right now, we're going to just wipe it down as we uh, put it into the well. This is exciting. Let's do this. Starting to get heavy. I don't want to keep this pack, so I'm going to take it careful here. Oh, 
Okay. Whew, we did it. And now's the moment of truth. I'm super excited and a little bit nervous at the same time. I'm really hoping we get the water out of this well. Hope you're here to see water come out of this well for the first time with me today. So let's get this thing connected and see what happens. Cross your fingers. Okay, I can hear it running. Let's see what happens. Come on, baby. Water, please. Water, please. Come on, baby. Nothing yet. Still hoping. Oh. Oh, I can feel something in the line. I can feel something. All right, would you look at that? There it goes. Water out of my well for the first time ever. Look at that. That is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful clear water. Oh, that is so exciting. Check that out. We've got water and enough to top off my tank. My goodness, that is exciting. Oh, that is awesome. Yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, it's cold. It's ice cold. Oh, and clear as can be. Oh, my goodness. We have got water coming out of here, man. So awesome. Beautiful, clear, clear, gorgeous water. All right, I don't know if you can see that water line, but it's just over the four quart mark. That's one minute of water, just over a gallon. That'll work for me. Thank you all for joining me today for this successful project. I think it's, um, I'm just so excited to have water coming out of our well. Coming out at a rate of just over a gallon a minute, which will work for me. We have a tank that we've buried that services our cabin, and I'm going to set this up to run on a float switch and top that off every day, and that's going to work. Um, I'm, I just can't tell you how excited I am. This is pretty awesome. This is a game changer. We've been bringing water in for a few years now. And uh, this is going to make all the difference in the world. Water is life. You got to have it out here. So this is this is going to be this is going to be awesome. Just a recap on the products. I'll put links down to everything in the description. It was just under four hundred dollars for everything that I used today. And uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. That helps out the algorithm. And then. Uh, if you want future updates on how this well is working and how we get it all connected to the house, please subscribe and thank you for watching.